And now, who gives this bride away? I do. Thank you. Logan, please bring your bride before me. Welcome, family and friends, on this awesome, great day in which we are celebrating the love that Holly and Logan have found in each other. The two of you found each other. You met, you've grown in your feelings, and now today you will become husband and wife. You know, in marriage, happiness doesn't just happen. It's created. Faith brought the two of you together, but it's an atmosphere of love and respect for each other, a willingness to give each other space, and an independence that'll keep your marriage as happy as you are today. As we view things, the world is too vast to measure. But in this world, we find that there's a reason why we are parent or child brother or sister, friends or family. There's also a reason why Holly, you are wife, and Logan, you are husband. The two of you are about to begin a new life. And in life, the, the most beautiful things cannot be seen or touched, but they have to be felt by the heart. So as you go forth, always come from the heart. Now before we do the wedding ceremony and the ring ceremony, I ask you, Holly, do you have any words that you would like to say to Logan? One second, I got it. Logan, we've been through so much together. Great times like trying so many different foods. Funny times like you being on your 22nd sample several times, one beer vest. And tragic times like losing family members. I wish my father could have been here today to walk me down the aisle, but I hope he's still here watching. Like I said, we've been through our ups and downs and I'm glad that we're finally making it official. Though we've joined our lives as, long, as one long ago, I'll finally be able to call your, myself your wife and I'm proud of it. I love you so much, that, that, and I'm happy that we found each other. I love you with all I am. It's inevitable. When you met me, I was still finding myself in so many ways. I had a lot of growing into myself to do, and a lot of cleaning up my life to do. The thing that helped me, though, was your support, and me wanting to become the partner you needed in life. I'll be the first to admit, I'm a corny romantic for, for years. I've been searching for the one who I was to love, the one who would love me, for me, in return. I may have been a bit too into fairy tales and Disney movies, and you could even go so far as to say I was searching for my very own French Charming, but it so happens that I have this, I have this thing of you that, that declares you a bona fide prince. <laughs> uh, okay, I, uh, I am now Lone Star. Okay, we go with that. So, anybody that knows me here, which is um, all of you, uh, are aware that I don't write speeches, I give speeches. Uh, and I do apologize, from the bottom of my heart, five of us and the powers of YouTube could not figure out how to tie a bow tie. And, yeah, sorry. But, we've been through everything together. There's nothing that could ever have kept us apart. We've been through the best of times, the worst of times, we've seen it all. And through 10 years, nothing could separate us. So this is as much a, a celebration of us as it is a formality for our ever-ending love. Because, you know, this, the, the regular wedding vows that people give are till death do us part. But we're forever. Because that's not long at all. I love you. Now, let's get married. <laughs> Beautiful. Sounds good. Well, now the time has come to exchange rings. The ring is an unbroken circle. And it symbolizes your unending love for each other. Logan, I ask you to place this on 
Holly's left hand, third finger. And as you do so, do you promise to honor, respect, and treat Holly with dignity? I do. And please repeat after me. I give you this ring today. Let it remind you of me. Wear it as a symbol of our love. Beautiful. Thank you. And now, Holly, I give you this ring. And as you place it on Logan's left hand, third finger, you, you promise to keep laughter in your marriage. He promised to keep laughter in your marriage. Truly, as you give him this ring, you promise to honor. Actually, this is the part where I say it. I'm going to give you the one to repeat after. Do you promise to honor and respect? I do. Logan? I do. Okay, now repeat after me. I give you this ring today. Let it remind you of me. And your great power. And your great power. Keep it with And keep it as a token of my love. You know, this is great because the purpose of our life is to become happy and to enjoy our lives to the fullest. So as the two of you go forward, always develop your wisdom and humanity and keep smiling. Be at peace in each other's company. Be willing to give, be willing to sacrifice, be all you can be to and for each other. And as Logan said, never let anything come between you. Also, may the Schwartz be with you. The Schwartz be with you. Well, based on that, it is my honor and distinguished privilege, based on the power vested in me by the great state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Holy, you may kiss the groom. <laughs> It is my great pleasure to introduce to you, for the first time anywhere in the universe, Mr. and Mrs. Peter.